What's up guys, it's Nick from Mining Office. I'm gonna bring you a quick video today checking out XMR rig. The latest version of the CPU miner has lower dev fees and boasts a higher hash rate for a lot of CPUs, so let's check it out. I'm just gonna give a quick shout out to Rabid Mining. He already released a video looking at this, so I'll link to that up there. So let's get right into the video, guys. So this is the latest version of XMRig 6.16.1. You can see it was actually just released yesterday and this version has a couple cool updates actually compared to the previous version, which was the first one which supported the Ghost Rider algorithm, which is the algorithm Raptorium uses in case you didn't know that. So right away, we're gonna open up the release notes here. We're gonna take a look at those after. It's gonna be very important. And quickly while we're here, we can look at the patch notes in between this version and the last version. So you can see there's been a Ghost Rider fix added average hash rate display. So that's a really good addition. I'm really happy they added it because if you guys don't know, on the Ghost Rider algorithm, your hash rate varies quite a bit, okay? So if you look at certain points, it might be zero, it might be uh, double what it normally is. It's all over the place and it averages out to be, you know, whatever it should be on your CPU. So without having this, it's kind of hard uh, to tell what your average hash rate is unless you're looking poolside and CPU Miner GR had this. So. It's really good that they added this back. Another thing I want to add right away is that XM rig has less dev fees than CPU Miner GR, so that's another positive right there. And apparently you get a 4% speed up on Zen 3. But we'll see if that actually works. I would I would like that because I have a 5800X. Here it specifies 4% speed up on Ryzen 5600X, so we'll see how applicable that is. Let's check out those release notes we opened before. All right, so here are the release notes. It says XMRig supports Ghostwriter algorithms starting from version 6.16.0. Obviously we have 6.16.1, but that's okay. And this is an important note here for Windows users. Use the MSVC binary because it's apparently 5% faster than the GCC binary. So when we get to the assets and we go to download the proper zip file, we're gonna make sure to grab the MSVC binary, all right? Uh, if we go down, there's also some interesting information on performance. We'll look at the windows here. Obviously, you can see that they also have stuff listed for Linux. And interestingly, on the 3900X, you actually lose performance. So anyway, that might be something to be explored. But if you look at windows, uh, it looks to be all positive speed ups, so net gains. And if we look specifically at the 5600X, which will probably be the closest to the 5800X, which I have, it states a 9.5% increase in hash rate. So that's really good. It's almost a 10% increase just for changing mining software. And then with the reduced dev fee, that's, you know, let's say rounded up to 10% more. So if that's the case, that's really good. I'm curious to try it out and see the results. So let's head back over to the releases page. We're gonna scroll down here not too far, to the assets for 6.16.1. And we're gonna download this MSVC win64.zip. So download that, extract it wherever you want it, and uh, we'll get back looking at the folder structure. So this is what you should have in that folder. First thing we're gonna do is set the XMRig EXE to run as admin. So go to properties, show you guys here, compatibility, run this program as administrator, hit apply, hit okay. We should be good to go there. Next thing we're going to want to do is open up the config.json and the other one we're going to want is the RTM Ghostwriter example. So what I'm going to do is just copy this, paste it. I'm just going to call it RTM Ghostwriter and that's the one we're going to modify and uh, use. So open up both of these. I use Notepad++ and uh, we'll make the changes we need to get mining with this miner. I just want to start by mentioning that for this miner, you don't need to do any of that tuning process. It's just you right out of the box, you just run it and you're good to go. No optimization, no tuning. So you don't have to spend that initial time doing it. So you can realistically do this two ways through the uh, config file, right? So the config JSON we have now and through the bat file. So I'll show you guys both ways. If you scroll down here to the section that says pools, you're going to have a few fields you're going to have to fill out. So right away for the algorithm, it's null by default. You're going to have to replace that with ghost rider, but make sure to add the quotation marks like you would for the URL or the user. Okay. So I have it already copied. I'm just going to paste it in. Make sure it's exactly like this. All right. Next thing you're gonna have to do is plug in the URL for your pool. I'm using flock pool, so that's what I'm gonna plug in. Uh, user obviously is gonna be again, your Raptorium wallet dot your user. So I'm gonna plug in what I usually do. And uh, if you have a password, this is obviously where you plug it in as well. So I will do that. 
and specifically for flock pool there is one extra step you have to take normally this would be it but for flock pool you're gonna have to go to tls and change this to true so it took me a while it wasn't working i wondered why and uh, this was why after doing a little bit of research so now we should be good to go. Like I said, just change your password and we're pretty much done in the config.json. We're gonna switch over to the rtmghostwriter.command file. So this is what it looks like. Um, it gives you a little bit more information up on the top here, but this is basically a very standard command line for miners. So look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my, uh, my command line I've been using completely here. I'm gonna copy it and I'll show you guys uh, what happens if I just put it here. All right, so we just paste it in. Uh, my password is off screen to the right there, so you don't see it, but it is there. And now to get this working in the bat file, there's two things we have to do. So it basically comes back to one thing. You're gonna wanna replace this, the stratum TCPS, remove that. And afterwards you have to add the same argument we added in the uh, config.json, dash dash TLS. Save it. At this point, you're good to go. You're fully configured in the bat file and the JSON, and we're ready to run the miner. Now I'll explain to you how this works. If you just click on the exe, by default, it refers to what's in the config.json. So if you didn't set up the batch file, you have to run the miner this way. Since we did set up the batch file, I can just decide to run the rtm ghostwriter command. That's what we'll do for this example, but both will work. And let's full screen this so you can see it. So at the top, you can see we're running the msvc version. It properly detects my processor, AMD Ryzen 7 5800X 8 core processor. Uh, all four DIMMs of RAM are also detected. You can see we're mining on flock pool and we are using the ghostwriter algorithm. So everything looking good. We've connected to the pool and we've gotten a new job. So look, I'm gonna let it mine, stabilize a little bit. Just make sure everything is working smoothly. We're not disconnecting from the pool or anything. And what I'll probably do is let this run more or less 24 hours, probably between 12 and 24, and just see if the reported overall hash rate is actually more than what we got in the CPU GR miner. So I think that's gonna be it for today. I'll check back with you guys tomorrow and we'll see where we're at. All right, everybody. So we are the next day. Unfortunately, at 1 a.m. in the morning, my power went out, so it's not going to be a continuous test. Instead of getting 20, 21 hours, I only got about 15. Uh, but look, it is what it is. 15 hours should still be a half decent amount. If you look here on the left-hand side, uh, you'll see that my average hash rate is sitting around 2,300 hashes per second. Now, uh, you'll see it's a little lower than that now, but if I go back and look in the history, my hash rate seems to vary, uh, even the average seems to vary between 2,250 and 2,350. So on average, it seems like it's maybe not quite, but more or less 100 hashes per second more. So if we consider this hash rate, that comes back to that 4.5% that we saw in the release notes. I don't know if that's, that's the MSVC, so it doesn't quite seem like that 10% increase that we saw for the 5600X, but still somewhere around 5% is, is still massive in my book. And I'm really happy about that. So also considering the dev fee is lower on this miner, I am definitely sticking with XM rig and ditching CPU miner GR. So I would recommend you guys do the same. Again, this depends on your CPU. So if you have a different CPU where you might be getting not as good performance or whatnot, it might not be worth it. But I think in most of the scenarios, it will. So do your due diligence, do a bit of research, but I would highly recommend you guys switch to XM rig. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed this test. Let me know in the comments if you get better results with CPU Miner GR. Consider smashing that like button and subscribing to my channel. And if not, have a great day, guys. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.